All right, guys, welcome back. Okay, again, winning with blends. Today, what we're going to talk about is two two critical things, time stretching and pitch shifting. I'm going to show you two ways to do that right now. There are other ways, like I always say, dive deeper into the actual modules or the plugins yourselves and look at some of the features that they have, some of the effects and so forth. The first one we're going to get into is pitch shifting and stretching within the drum sequencer all right so as you see i've got a drum sequencer up here let me just go ahead and play this drum pattern right here okay and let me mute that sample just for now okay just got a simple drum pattern okay simple drum pattern with some of the features that we spoke about recently of fl studio mobile where you can actually create your you know, like let's say trap drums or repeats or, you know, triplets and things like that. You can definitely do that within the drum sequencer right here. I will show, move this aside. You can see right here, some of these notes right here, this bass drum right there. You can do as many of these as you want. Okay, <laughs> just showing you can do that stuff. It's beautiful, just in the repeat section. Now, but you also have pitch, pitching. So you can slide again, these pitches up. Okay, you can pitch it down. Okay, now the other way that I like to do personally is going into the sample section right here. Okay, you could of course have the envelope sequence and such, but we're gonna go into sample. And as you see, I've already pitched, pitched this kick drum down. Let's put it back to zero so you can get a, a, a sound a feel for the original pitch. Just take a listen. Okay, I'll bring it back down to the minus six like I did. Okay. Now, another thing I want to talk about is, of course, time stretching. Now, watch this ride, okay? You see this ride down here? I'm going to actually turn the volume up. I actually, solo the ride. I'll turn it up. There we go. I'll just turn it up. I think it'll cut through enough like this. So watch this. I'm going to stretch it. Watch this. Okay? Now I'm going to shorten it. Okay, so there you go. That's one simple method, I guess, kind of two in a way within the drum sequencer. Guys, the drum sequencer has improved in so many ways. Check out one of my recent videos about drums and you'll, you'll see we can dive in a lot deeper into this module or this plugin, this instrument right here. Super useful, very cool. Time stretching also involves, you know, you can adjust where the sample starts, but mostly just the pitch, raising the pitch and and st stretching it out let's let's lower the pitch now and stretch it out and i'll shorten it right significantly shorter okay so that's one method so we've got this drum now i'm going to bring in a sample okay so this sample was one that i got from beautiful beats his instagram channel he's you know guys check out his channel he's got some good insights he seems like a nice guy seems like a you know like just like a good guy who's willing to to help the community so i appreciate his videos check him out but here's the sample here's the original as you see labeled right here as original let me dive back in here lower this one here okay that's the sample okay now here's the sample chopped so now we're talking about time stretching right so what you can do well, you can go into each of these samples, and as you see, you can time stretch like this. Let's let this run back. These are quick samples, guys, so don't think that there's going to be any length in this one to stretch the time. You'll notice it gets slower. Oh, it's going to overlap, of course. Okay, let me let me move this over. Show you guys again. So watch this. I'll slow this one down or speed it up. So by shortening the length of the clip, you're actually going to speed up the pitch, okay? So that's just one method. I'm showing you that's super quick, super, super rough, if I could say that example there. Let's let this play again. I'm gonna show you another way. Okay, so now let's go down to the sample at the bottom. Okay, so it's a little quieter, but... So you hear this one here, this one's sliced. So again, guys, remember, you can always slice by wherever your playhead is. Let's go back here. 
and let's actually put this snap back on and get this loop to be four bars. So when we're talking about time stretching, you want to probably figure out exactly how to get your, your instrumentals, your drums directly on the beat with your sample. So what I mean actually is more getting your sample to hit right on the beat. Well, there's a cool method to do this, simple method. It does involve time stretching, of course, but not necessarily in the way of this one. So let's go back to this sample, for example. Let's go to this track right here, okay? You've got your playhead. Let's just say we got a playhead and we want to cut this part right here. Of course, we could zoom in a little bit more. Let's just say that's the perfect cut right there. We want that cut. We can just, again, I've showed this before in previous videos. You can right click or, you know, tap whatever device you're using and click slice. And now you have a completely separate slice. Now within here, you can of course go to, you know, volume pan and pitch. You can personally create the pitch. You can let it you know, drop, you can increase the pitch as it plays. You guys know this, we've definitely talked about this in previous videos, okay? But what I wanna talk about is the other way of time stretching. It's the same way, but it actually works in the sense where if you have a drum pattern like we do here, and you see this 70 beats per minute, okay? Let me, okay, so we're gonna be looking at this bottom one right here. Let me bring this up to the top, just so it's easy for us to focus on. The top two, okay, the drums and this sample. Okay, so what I did was, I loaded my audio clip just by opening audio clips and loading your, go to my files and my samples. Drop that in your samples. Guys, remember, we talked about the file system within FL Studio Mobile and you have to get used to the ideas of online content or user generated user content, things like that. You gotta be able to locate your files, guys. Check out some of my previous videos. I'll link them as well so you can navigate uh, the, the FL Studio Mobile um, file system so you can essentially locate your files and drop, drag and drop your samples into those folders, okay? So now watch this. We're talking about this one right here. Let's say we've got a four bar loop, as you see right here. Once I click this sample right here, I'm going to grab this little anchor, this, this hook right here, and I can drag it to the left or I can drag it to the right. So if I drag it to the left, it's gonna shorten this. So let's do that right there. I'm gonna do it right there and watch where the sample ends right here. It's gonna end. Let's let it loop back again, just, just give it a moment. Okay, so this is time stretching. Okay, perfect time stretching. And you could tell it's too fast, right? Now, of course, it's too fast. So let's let it load up again. And I'm gonna bring this right to the end. You'll notice more or less at the end, the sample ends right as that bar is about to loop. And the loop is pretty much perfect. All right, watch this. Okay, let's go back to the beginning of the sample just to double check to see a quick thing of what I did. Of course, you wanna make sure that your, your samples are cut well so that they do start more or less at the beginning. And yes, as you see, I went in, I'll dive in a little bit deeper, guys. And you'll actually notice that what I did was, let me zoom in a bit more. You'll notice that I cut off a little bit of the extra silence in the beginning. So, so I'm gonna bring that back. Let me just undo, undo, and we're right back, undo. So I'm gonna do one more quick thing. It's, it's nothing new, but I'm just kind of showing you um, what we got here at the end. So pitch shifting, time stretching, it's so simple to do within many of the tools, but definitely just by clicking your, your audio files, your audio clips and dragging this right here. So we can make this even longer. I assure you the, the loop's gonna be off, but it's not gonna be so bad. Sometimes as long as it hits right at the beginning, and hits on the one beat, that's what you wanna focus on. See, it's falling off, right? So let's let's tighten it back up a bit and get it pretty much at the end. Okay, let it loop one more time, guys. And I appreciate you guys coming through, checking this one out. As usual, guys, thank you so much for your time today. All the best to you guys. Winning with blends, guys, leave a comment. I really do check all the comments and I appreciate the feedback. It's always so, um, it just feels good to read feedback from people. So do that. And I will definitely catch you guys in the next one. So subscribe to the, to the channel, give a thumbs up to the videos and share it with a friend. All right, guys, take it easy.